Hello friends, welcome. One more example on eliminating the theta from a relationship. We have an example here, an interesting example. Let us try to solve it together. We have been given c cos cube theta plus 3c cos theta into sin square theta is m and also c sin cube theta plus 3c cos square theta into sin theta is n. We have to prove that m plus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 plus m minus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 is equal to 2c whole to the power of 2 by 3. Now, if you if we are able to observe what is the value of m and n, you will see that if you add m and n, you are getting all the terms of a plus b whole cube where a equal to cos theta and b equal to sin theta. So what I mean to say by that is if I take this c out, I will have, let me write it down here, I will say cos cube theta plus 3 cos theta sin square theta is equal to m by c. Similarly, sin cube theta plus 3 cos square theta sin theta equal to n by c. Now let us say those are two equations we have. Let us say 1 and 2. Now what happens if I do 1 plus 2? Let us say this is our 1 and this is our 2. We have 1 plus 2 that gives me cos cube theta plus 3 cos theta sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta sin theta plus sin cube theta if you add them and that you know is nothing but equal to m plus n divided by c. Similarly, if you do 1 minus 2, what happens? If you do 1 minus 2, you will have cos cube theta plus 3 cos theta sin square theta minus 3 cos square theta sin theta minus sin cube theta and we know this is equal to m minus n divided by c. Now if you you can write down the first whatever we have the left hand side of the first equation just now we got we can write it as cos theta plus sin theta whole cube is equal to m plus n by c. Similarly, cos theta minus sin theta whole cube is equal to m minus n divided by c. Now, the idea of eliminating the theta is always to get the values of cos theta and sin theta and just put them in the Pythagorean identity cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. So can I go ahead and write down here cos theta plus sin theta is equal to m plus n by c whole to the power of 1 by 3. Similarly, I will have cos theta minus sin theta is equal to m minus n by c whole to the power of 1 by 3. Now next step will be our last step. What we have done? We observed that if this c is taken out from the left hand side and from the both the equations we add them up we are getting cos theta plus sin theta whole cube. If you subtracting we are getting cos theta minus sin theta whole cube. We are interested to convert this into n using an Pythagorean identity we want to eliminate the theta that means I have to get some value here constant so that I can prove m plus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 plus m minus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 is 2c whole to the power of 2 by 3. The next step now let us say this is equation 4 and this is equation 5 we just took some values now if you do 4 square plus 5 square 
what we will have let us check that we will have cos theta plus sin theta whole square plus cos theta minus sin theta whole square now you ab understood I think why I am trying to do this so that when I do a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square we know that that is equal to a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square is equal to 2 into a square plus b square if a equal to cos theta and b equal to sin theta then this will become 2 into cos square theta plus sin square theta that is equal to 2 now but that that's nothing but equal to according to us we have m plus n by c whole to the power of 2 by 3 plus m minus n by c whole to the power of 2 by 3 why 2 by 3 because we are squaring and adding them so cos theta plus sin theta whole square is m plus n by c whole to the power of 2 by 3 similarly this is m minus n by c whole to the power of 2 by 3 now next step will be we know this is equal to 2 so I can write down 2 equal to n plus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 plus m minus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 divided by c to the power of 2 by 3 which is nothing but equal to what we need that is n plus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 plus m minus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 is equal to 2 into c to the power of 2 by 3 so the key point here to understand is even though they have asked us m plus n and m minus n so we are sure that we have to add them add them when you add m plus n you are getting in the form of cos theta plus sin theta whole cube into c that's equal to m plus n when you subtract it you are getting c into cos theta minus sin theta whole cube equal to m minus n now you got cos theta plus sin theta we know cos theta minus sin theta so we can apply the formula that a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square is equal to 2 into a square plus b square we can leverage that formula and by that we can prove that m plus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 plus m minus n whole to the power of 2 by 3 equal to 2 into c to the power of 2 by 3 so I'll catch you once again with another interesting example related to eliminating theta from a relation trigonometry thanks for your time and support Bye for now.